Hey guys, we're building the floor framing right now and you can see that it's coming in nicely. I'm very excited about that. But also it's really interesting coming from an air quality and a chemistry standpoint to think of all the people who are dirtophobic, uh, if that's a word, and germophobic, specifically mold. This lumber has been only sitting here for a week, week and a half tops. It's been cold, it's winter time. Um, it has rained, but when it arrived, I covered it with plastic. Uh, and then when it's sunny out, I uncover it to make sure that it gets a chance to dry out. And while I've been doing that, covering and uncovering, and you can imagine how many construction sites you drive by are not covering their lumber at all, I have developed several dozen different kinds of mold and mildew on all of these pieces of wood. Some of it is green, some of it is white, some of it is bright orange. It's a beautiful uh, kind of a cornucopia of life forms that are already gonna be living in my house before I get to move in. So this is interesting because I've told lots of people when I inspected their house after it was built, after it had been around for a long time, and I see some spots and I say, ooh, that might be a sign of condensation. Just so you know, this stuff is happening before you even put this lumber into the house. More reason for having machines to control the filtration, the air quality, the dehumidification inside the building, because if this stuff is here, it could go dormant, and that's fine. Uh, and as long as people aren't brushing by it and it's hidden behind drywall or, or whatever, this stuff happens to be out in the crawl space, but it's kind of an interesting conundrum. So uh, just take that for what it's worth. And those of you who are builders out there, if you have like special tips and tricks on how you treat for this, if you have someone whose job it is literally to clean with soap and water every single piece of lumber that has spots of mildew or mold on it before it goes in the house, I'd love to hear that. I highly doubt that that's what we're doing out there in real life. But anyway, this was just eye-opening for me, so stay tuned.